Hi guys, Matt DeQuinney here from Beyond Grappling. Today I'm about to show you a technique from my new website, University of Judo. University of Judo is a great website I've been working on and it's going to be released in February. So if you like the video, why not click the like button, share it with your Facebook friends, and if you like it, why not comment below and let me know what you think. Uchimata is one of the best techniques you can do in Judo. I love it, it's so hard to do, but the great thing about it, there's such a variety of um, entries you can do and setups to make it work really well. So a basic Uchimata, just a traditional one, is uh, off you know, the, the collarbone, back of the elbow. What I do is I take a cross step, and as I take a cross step, I pull my opponent up onto his toes. Up onto his toes, then I quickly take a back step, and then throw him pretty much over. So from here, and throw with Uchimata. Now that's easy uh, when your opponent um, is standing square and nice, but in competition in Randori, he's resisting. He's not standing square, and it makes life a lot more difficult. So there's a few setups that I like to do to make my Uchimata work. The first one is when I'm fighting a left-hander. So if Tila Mayuki stands left, what I like to do is I get an inside grip. I must be inside. And then I have to get the sleeve. So what I do is a few different ways I can get the sleeve. What I usually like to do is just kind of shake it up a little bit and all of a sudden I catch the sleeve. Now from here, his left foot's still forward, which means if I go for my Uchimata, it's going to be a little bit harder. I might have to do a slightly different technique beforehand. So what I like to do to square him up is uh, like a little Diashi or a Kosoni. And now look, his feet are square. So again, here, and I pull. Massive Kazushi, back step, Uchimata. So when you're fighting a lefty, it's important to square them up. Just like when you're doing Uchikomi in, in, in training. But if he's, he's left, makes life a bit harder. So, Diashi, when he steps out, if I come in now, there's no Kazushi. He's still travelling backwards, he's probably throwing his roof on with a counter. So I make sure when he back steps, massive Kazushi. Look at my opponent's toes. He's up on his toes. Now I back step, rotate my body, get that left leg nice and deep. Get up and control that. Leg was a bit bent then, but. But if you're fighting a right hander, great, that setup's not going to work. What can you do? You can work a Kawachi Gari. So, same again, I've got my grip. I work a Kawachi, now he's square. Well, square enough. So, again, I take a, a close step. I sweep that foot out of the way, plant this foot. Big Kazushi. And there again is my Uchimata. So, if you're fighting a lefty, a little Diashi. If you're fighting a righty, Kawuchi. Sometimes, sometimes you know, before your opponent even has a grip, you can do the Zantaraya style Uchimata, which is when your opponent throws a big left hand here. So I come low, bending my knees like an Ukigoshi position, underhooking this hand, then I'm going to catch this, lift him up and throw. So when we're here, we're fighting, and if I know he's a lefty, and I know he loves throwing this top grip, and as guys get better, nationally, internationally, they stop throwing this hand so much. But sometimes your opponent gets frustrated, so you're waiting for it. And when he enters, oh, a bit early, I anticipated. Again, lift, and then throw, throw him over with that. So again, do this. I enter forward, so I haven't turned my hips that much. I've got this underhook. I follow this in, and then I lift my opponent up with this knee and throw. So let's do a throw now. So we're here, he comes in, lift, and throw. One more time from a different angle. We're here, he comes in, and throw over for the Zantaraya, Uchimata. Another Uchimata setup you can think about doing, it's a little bit harder, more of a lightweight one, but something that works quite well. And it's when you're fighting your opponent and you want to control their right hand. Because with Uchimata, it's nice to get controlling this hand, but sometimes he doesn't let you control it. So, what you can do is you can grab this, uh, his right shoulder here, and then as you throw this top hand, if I throw this top hand now, Tillam will counter me. If I come forward, he'll take me backwards. So what I like to do is, as I throw this top hand, I pull him forward. But I don't just pull him forward and stop. That's when I enter for my Uchimata. So we're here, it's a very spinny, fast Uchimata. So I'm here, and as I pull, I'm just gonna uh, do a throw now so you can see it. So when I'm here, I pull, and throw him up and over for the Uchimata there. 
It's very tricky, very fast, very fancy, but you've got to throw your opponent off somehow. And this is an Uchimata off the grip. So again, I'm here, I'm grabbing this lapel. As I pull forward, I top grip and quickly back step. See the position I'm in? And now from here, I'm just going to rotate over to throw him with my off the grip Uchimata. And another Uchimata that works quite well is one from a really tight overhook. So what I like to do is sometimes, depending on who you're fighting, is to throw a top hand. And when you throw a top hand, they tend to go around your waist. So as I throw a top hand, he goes around my waist because he might be looking at for a hip throw or something like that. So again, as I throw high, I come low, but then I pressure down on his shoulder and get this position. Now just lift your head up there. From here, I feed this gi thumb inside. See how usually people go opposite lapel. With here, I'm going thumb inside grip. Now, very nice position. Now, I can, I can work with Kobuchi. And as he comes back, I catch the sleeve and hop through a really nice tight oval with Uchimata. So one last time. I'm here, I throw a top hand and he goes around my waist. But if I stay here, he's gonna throw me. So I put pressure on his shoulder and walk backwards. Break his posture, overhook the hand, thumb inside. If I go for my Uchimata now, He's going to feel it coming, so I've got to get a reaction the way I want to go. So I might go for a Kouchi, and as he comes forward, I back step, hook that Uchimata, hop it through to finish. Thanks heaps for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, why not click the like button, share it with your Facebook friends, or you can leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Now make sure you keep an eye on your email over the coming days, because I'm going to send you an email with a link to a new video that I just know you're going to love. Thanks a lot. Talk soon.